Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how you export a layer from ArcGIS Pro to ArcGIS Online and how you share it to be a web layer instead of just um, on your computer. So first, you're going to load up whatever, you, whatever layers that you want to export. You're going to find them. Say I want to export just this project layer. I'm going to right click it. I'm going to go down to where it says sharing. And you're going to click share as web layer. It's going to open up a pane in the right where it tells you to go ahead and choose a name for it. I'm going to call this Bowser Project 2 and then make a summary for it just so that I don't forget what it is later. I'm going to say it's a demo test video and then tags um, is kind of like how there are folders in Windows Explorer. This is what you can search to try and find this. So I will call it video, call it test and demo. It's important to choose tags that um, are easily searchable and can kind of apply to multiple things so that you're not just using keywords, but um, it's a little bit of a weird one just because it's for the test demo. Uh, it's gonna You then choose where you want to save. I want to save it in my Bowser Academy folder on Arc Online, and then I you choose who you want to share it with. I'm just going to share it with my SWCD. Um, but you can share it with everyone in your organization or with anyone who has an ArcGIS online account. Um, so once you do that, you're going to go ahead and click Analyze to go ahead and see if there are any errors trying to ex before you export. This is a very common error that will show up unless you fix it before analyzing. Um, it's, thankfully, it's also a very simple one to fix. It's just unique, uni unique numeric IDs are not assigned. So click the three little dots and then auto assign ID sequentially. Once you change that check mark, you know it's resolved. Let's click analyze, make sure that didn't cause any other issues. And once you get this no errors or warnings found, you're good to go ahead and click publish. And then it'll begin to start sharing it to Arc Online. Um, once this is done, it should start showing up in your Arc Online account. So while it's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and open up my Arc Online folder and just in any browser. You can see it's here. I saved it to my Bowser Academy folder. And in just a moment, it will show up here once this says done.